With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello. So the question is, which of the following is paramagnetic? Okay. So both the minus is given, sine is given, n of plus is given, c o is given. So first we calculate the number of electrons. Okay. Now in oxygen, O two minus how many electrons are there? Oxygen. Eight plus eight plus one one because of this electron. Then we are getting how much? Sixteen plus one seventeen electrons. Here in cyanide, cyanide is having six nitrogen seven plus one. Okay, this is fourteen electrons. Now N O plus nitrogen is having seven oxygen is having eight. Minus one because of this one lost electron, then we are getting forty electrons. We are also carbon is carbonic, so we have six plus eight, that is fourteen electrons. So basically, we can uh, find out it is paramagnetic or not by drawing the molecular orbital diagram. But before that, we just found out that how many electrons are there. So we have to just need to find out for 14 electrons and 17 electrons. So for 14 electrons, I will draw the molecular vital diagram. For 14 electrons. Okay. So it will start with. 1s and 1s here and here it will be sigma sigma star okay so in and then it will be 2s 2s and then sigma star and then sigma in 1s we'll have two electrons we need to just fill up the electrons how many electrons what electrons are there so for 14 electron we know the molecular orbital diagram is like this 1 2 1 2 like this so this is 2 b this is 2 now 14 electrons are there for the 65 sorry this is sigma star This is pi star, this is sigma, and this is pi. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, seven, fourteen electrons. We have spent two, three, fourteen electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. This is the molecular orbital diagram showing the all 14 electrons. We need to draw lines in this while drawing the molecular orbital diagram. So from this we can conclude that yeah this orbitals are filled. So there is no unbad electron. So that's why 14 electron is showing diamagnetism. Okay, now I will draw for 17 electron. For 17 electron, it is seen just there is some slight changes. Will be like this. Here there will be pi and here there will be sigma. Okay. Now uh, there are 17 electrons. So 17 so it means 8, 8 electrons each and plus one more electron. So when we had seven electrons, it will become eight electron here, eight electron here, and one electron is extra. So I'll put it here. So 
how many we need to fill? Three more electrons than the previous one. So initially it was filled like this for 14 electrons and for 17 electrons we need to add three more electrons. So one, two and three. So after 70 electrons we can see there is one extra electron left. So because of this it shows paramagnetic field. Because of this one un, uh, unpaired electron. So that's why 17 electron is paramagnetic. So we have the question is asked which of the following is paramagnetic. So our 17 electron one is the paramagnetic that is 4 to minus. So my correct answer is 4 to minus. That is the first option. So I hope you understand this concept. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.